Oh, you, you beheaded that one. Oh, hey, can you put that back on the, uh, thank you. All right, guys, so these guys who are working on the roof over here went ahead and pointed out a big one over here. And uh, these guys dropped it. Danny's up in the tree. He went and grabbed it. It's about a four-foot pregnant female iguana full of eggs again. And uh, David and I hung back a little bit. He was sighting in the gun a little bit better, getting a little more of a, sh a little more of a sharp shot on his aim there. Um, and uh, yeah, so we got three. We've been on the water for about 15 minutes, and we've got three good ones on the boat right now. Awesome. How you feel? Hey, is this like anything you've done before? Never done this before. Total blast. Got to do it. And anyway, yep, as y'all can see, that's Charter Master Danny coming out of the bush. He crawled all the way up there to get that iguana he just got. They're talking about your blitz, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that part. Oh. Yeah, but you did it. He climbed up in there? I missed it. Well, he's... He, yeah. yeah. I wanted to climb in here, so he climbed up there. Well, hey, David, you won't miss the next iguana or the next time he does that. <laughs> all right. All right, are we moving on? Or, right, well, Danny's... Uh, so, all right, guys, everybody's like, well, how do you clean these iguanas and make sure that you don't bleed the meat? Um, with the salmonella toxin in their blood. So what Charter Master Danny is doing over here, if I can get the right angle, what we do with these iguanas whenever we get them in, we go ahead and cut their throats and bleed them out. All right. Once they stop, once they stop bleeding out, or once they stop bleeding out the majority, um, what we'll do is we'll go ahead through the belly and cut the chest plate, uh, the rear, uh, the rear leg plate, and go straight up the belly and rip all of those uh, organs and entrails out of the iguana to make sure that whenever we're putting the iguana in our Crete Cooler, floaty cooler over here, shout out to Crete Cooler, um, when we're putting the iguanas in here, we want to make sure there's no blood or guts or anything on the iguana, what we're putting in, ooh. You gotcha? Ooh. Yeah, guys, so I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but the iguanas, if you look at their claw, it's a curved claw, right? So the very tip of that curved claw is a needle point, like a syringe, and then they've got two side-by-side -side blades on the inside curve. So they puncture and cut. They don't scratch. That's why I was worried about you grabbing him with no nothing on your arms, was if he would have wrapped around your arm, it goes away. But and you're not gonna get sick or anything, but it don't feel good. It don't feel good. So, good thing you brought those gloves. But being seeing that, just if you if we have to chase them down and you want to grab them, you're more than welcome to do that. Just be aware of those back legs. All right, guys. This is uh, iguana number three.